What's cracking, everybody? It's your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage, here to tell you, Grandmother Fucking Rising, and a high ascension today, people. I hope everybody's having a wonderful morning, a wonderful rising. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know when all of my uploads upload. You feel me? Let's get some thanks to my dad, the Most High, for bringing us words of wisdom this morning. I say he certainly did. Okay, because um, listen, um, I've been you know over the last year, uh, maybe the last six months, I have become the master of taking insults from people whom I don't even know. You feel me? I had posted something under a, a video I was watching, and it wasn't even. It was just basically kind of like my my thoughts on uh, on on the commentary or something. And somebody uh, posted under there. Uh, about how I basically like I didn't watch the whole series and blah 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 and they said uh, watch YouTube genius or something like that it was it was stupid it was goofy and I just at first I you know I I said a couple of cuss words in my head called the person a name out there called them out their name in my head I didn't do it you know back to them I'm not even going to respond to it because it's just like insults whatever people are unhealed people um you know, the biggest insult is that, you know, uh, is that people still get to walk around and, you know, spew out hatred like that or just be negative ass bitches. I guess I did just say it. Either way it goes. Um, who fucking cares what you think about what I said? You know, do you, that's the thing. When people come back with insults, um, they don't have anything intelligent to say. They just don't. So they want to take low blows. The fact of the matter is that, uh, yeah, thank you. I am a genius. Okay. It was smarter than your dumb ass. That's for certain. Because uh, if you would have really read my comment, you would have saw what I was saying. And I think I did say in there I didn't see it. Well, it doesn't even really matter because overall, like, uh, you know, again, bitch, find something else to do. Trolls. I mean, it's it's so it's so insane to me how people get up every day to go troll. This is how unhappy. This this is why this is why people uh, collective. If you are dealing with somebody that's insulting you, just let that person be. You know, check a bitch if you feel the need to, though, because sometimes people go, you know, they take shit too far. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and sometimes you do have to let a motherfucker know, like, right off the bat, I ain't with that shit, you know? But, you know, people that, there are people that get up every day and they're hungry for drama. They're hungry for hatred. They're hungry for uh, unhappiness. You know, they, they breed off of that. That's that's kind of like a, you know, like uh, like fucking gremlins or some shit you know what i'm saying they 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 eat insults in the morning and by nighttime there's a bunch of this nasty ugly pimply faced stinking ass gremlins trolls and shit sitting around watching everything you say and watching everything you do so they can have something to comment on and to me that's just fucking weird find something else better to do with your day okay because real talk like I said, people mudsling. I don't mudsling. I truth sling. I can I can I can wash off mud, but you can't wash away the truth, bitch. Whoever you are, something's happening in Omaha. What's up, baby? What's up, collective? Uh, spirit guides, spirit teams, law enforcement. I appreciate you guys. Um, ancestors, 5D and 3D. You guys are the business too. I appreciate you. And new subscribers, current subscribers, and OGs. I fucks with you all day long. You know this. And intergalactic family and intergalactic beings, archangels and guardian angels and ascended masters alike. Thank you. All right, let's get to this. So I um I had a dream last night, and you know the thing is this. You know people believe in magic or not, believe in uh, evil divination or not, it exists. It totally exists. Um, and even if you don't believe that it exists, whoever's doing it to you, very much so believe that it exists. And that's energy. That's somebody sending out negative, uh, disgusting ass energy to you. And it will make it to you. Now, how, how protected you are, how you choose to transmute that energy, how you choose to block that energy is totally up to you. But it does exist, especially while you're sleeping, which is why you should always cover your crown. Okay. I sleep with a beanie on all night or a baseball hat or under the covers. But um, I think it's um, important just to kind of keep that in mind. Uh, because people keep trying to reach me in my dreams, uh, and it's like you know they still it's like they can't one up me in the in the three D, but then they can't one up me in the five D. So they keep trying to do it in the five D. But the thing about it is, is like a lot of this shit is actually I, I really feel like it's it's the participation factor. I really feel like it's participation. I, I how how much are you willing to participate in the bullshit? I'm not okay. So get that through your head, ex Narmic. 
fucking warlock and shit coming to me in my dreams you know and 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 and, you know these aren't things that i'm just assuming that a person does i saw with my own two eyes how a person uh speaks in a different foreign uh, foreign tongue that would sound very demonic while they're in the shower or the fact that they're reading uh books on black root magic um when they should have been paying attention in treatment you feel me and i mean that shit okay so something's happening happening in omaha or something did happen in omaha or somebody in omaha is playing too much um anyway so and i keep hearing this on hey little walter hey little walter children so somebody's a crackhead because <laughs> that's what that song was about wasn't it um where are we at where it's uh 8 45 a.m 111 today it's a portal it should be anyways if it's not but it's a 111 portal angel number 111 let's see just so I just so I can get it right, and I don't want nobody coming in talking about genius and shit, bitch. Your mama should have swallowed your daddy should have swallowed your ass, dead ass. Um, it's a high bringer of new beginnings and positive changes. Mm -hmm. It's a symbol of leaving uh, behind a past that should definitely stay in the past and moving forward to a more positive future. It's associated with confidence, motivation, and independence. It means a new a journey of self is on the way. Okay. So yeah, one one one. It's eight forty six a.m. Twenty seven degrees Fahrenheit. Light snow in Minneapolis. It's not snowing, but it seems like it might be a little chilly out there. But any given event. Uh, hey, little Walter. Somebody could be a little Walter. Somebody could be a Walter Junior. Somebody's daddy's name could be Walter. Uh, nonetheless, somebody's sitting around getting high, or maybe somebody's a crack baby. No offense to any crack babies out there, but I'm just saying what the what the music sounds like. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's ask Archangel Michael to clear out the energy for this reading so that I can give a clear and concise message to the collective this morning. Um, we're just going to pull in some general collective energy, see who needs a message this morning from uh, my subscribers or people that watch me or cross watching as gnomes. I started to say narmix, but it gnomes. What's a gnome? Things that stand outside looking weird, like a fucking stalker, I guess. You know, this is a real quick, you know, I, I know that's too many. Um, there's something I want to say, but I can't remember what it is, or I shouldn't say it probably. Yeah, okay, so like friends and shit, you know. I just, I don't know, I, to me it's just weird, like how truly evil a lot of these people that I knew were. And I said, I knew. I don't fuck with y'all no more. That ass. Yeah, I had, a friend, I had a friend that was in Omaha that was down there with some weird ass dude, the same dude that tried to pretend like he was somebody and then hit me up on here. And, you know, it was just weird as hell. Like, um, and what it really all comes down to is what I'm starting to realize is that because I didn't want to have sex with none of these people and I didn't want to be in a relationship with me. They couldn't own me. They couldn't they could not get that contract in with me. And they were jealous when other people did get that contract. So then what did they do? They did what uh, incubus, succubus spirits do. They found a way to attach themselves to people that I was attached to to siphon off of my energy okay and I'm just telling keeping it 100 the fact of the matter is that um, most of these people um, don't have souls they sold they sold their souls for 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 uh, uh, roles to be actors comedians singers dancers tarot card readers business owners business women People sold their soul for these things when they, all they had to do was earn it, put in the work, or or, or 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 divinate or divinate on a higher level than a lower level. You feel me? And I'll be back later with another reading too, because um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm about to I'm a, I'm a, I want to talk about this this little this little clique this little group of all these little these young ass escorts and shit that these people be putting on people. It's a, it's a damn shame. Yeah, sacrifice. What did I say? What did I just talk about? I just talked about a sacrifice, didn't I? Seven godly number. People trying to sacrifice God, be, God body, God body ass people. People trying to sacrifice chosen ones. People sacrificing themselves. It's just weird to say sacrificing animals. Even if I have to break apart, as long as it serves a purpose. See, people are willing to do whatever it takes to sacrifice you. Or if we're taking it to a, a positive level, sacrificing people, places, and things that no longer serve your highest good. Okay, as long as it serves a purpose for your highest good, you feel me? I have accepted my duty, and in my release, I found freedom. 
sacrifice. So this could be a, a reading about somebody sacrificing you, 9.59 on the clock, or this could be a, 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 a message about how you need to sacrifice something. Let's see what happens here. Fucking scabs. Yeah, death is, death is at the bottom of the deck, so something has to be laid to rest. Something should be laid to rest if it's not, okay? Or maybe somebody was trying to sacrifice your ass. I feel like something big is coming. I just feel like I feel like there's a lot going on in the world right now that we don't, that I don't know about. Let me say not we, but I don't know about. You know, I'm not a genius. <laughs> He's a fucking bitch. Uh, but overall, you see, this picture has a um, that that beam of light. It's like a glare, a gl a blare of light, glare of light. A peaking of light something some, a light is about to be um, shown light is about to show it's happening very slowly but there's a sliver a sliver of light about a sacrifice about how people sacrifice or, or maybe this is your sliver of light today about what you should sacrifice it, either way it goes I think that there's about to be a huge um, a huge discussion a huge uh, I want to say announcement revealing a huge revelation a huge revelation about how um, that's what your ass get a huge revelation about how people you sacrifice people I think that it's about to be all over the place I think it's about to be heavily discussed it's going to be more discussed um, in the in the in the in the regular media you know CNN type shit about these sacrifices that people have been making all these years um, in the in the, yeah there goes earth angel uh, sacrificing earth angels or maybe you're an earth angel who needs to make a sacrifice. Let's 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 see what's going on here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for me. Select the all options that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? I would appreciate that. Okay. Let's see. Hold on. Let me. See. Got high priest by high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Coming out of hiding, High Priestess. Mm, could be. There's a tower. Mm -mm. A tower is going to bring a High Priestess out. Could be. The truce in the reverse. Somebody's not calling the truce. That's the four of swords. So uh, somebody's um, somebody's anxious. Somebody's not rested. Could be. Two more. Thank you. One more. There we go. All right. Yeah, there's going to be a tower again. Happiness. This tower is going to bring happiness to somebody. Because um, judgment. Somebody's under judgment. Some type of judgment has been called uh, for a sacrifice. There has been, I'm, uh, definitely has been, um, maybe for the sacrifice of a princess, a disc, that's a Capricorn, a, a, a Taurus or Virgo energy, a teacher, maybe kindergarten teacher, but the princess, a disc is about sacrifice. Again, it's about making an offering. Uh, maybe judgment's been called about uh, a sacrifice that either somebody made against a uh, princess, a disc, a teacher, a kindergarten teacher, somebody that cares for children or somebody that's very sacrificial. All these, this, this card is about sacrifice because teachers are very sacrificial. They sacrifice a lot to become teachers, good teachers anyways, uh, not bitter, angry, drunk ass teachers. Okay. Um, but some type of judgment has been called or somebody's under judgment. Anyway, it goes, it's a, it, this is going to make this, whatever type of uh, judgment has been called for this teacher they're going to be very happy all right so we got strife and then the mage in the reverse that's manipulation that's dark magic i just got done talking about that shit so somebody wants to keep fighting somebody is somebody's willing to make a sacrifice to continue some bullshit um to continue to be able to do their dark magic probably for your abundance and what you got coming to you and gain because you completed a cycle this is a celebration that you have in order somebody is willing to continue the bullshit to keep up um to keep up the bullshit to keep up drama and strife not calling a truce because you are abundant you are in a gain you are in a manifesting or receiving your manifestation that's gain 
You're single, self-sufficient, independent. You've done this on your own with the help of the Most High. Yes, you have. Um, but then you, this is like the graduation card. You are, you, you are congratulations. You have made it to the next level. And this person, these people or person, could be seven people, are willing to sacrifice anything so that you can't have that. Okay? We got the Princess of Wands in the reverse. They can't be cruel to you anymore. That's witchy poo energy. That's a young witch bitch. A little, your baby witch. A slut bitch. That's what I heard. Okay? Sagan dark magic over your ass. Because you're a hard worker. It's the three, the three of Pentacles. You're in Princess of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, costume designer. You could be some type of designer. You could be a cre content creator. You could be a, you could be an artist. You could be, but you, you're somebody who makes things. That's your job. You make things look pretty. You could. You could make dresses. Okay. You could knit. But whatever it is you do, Princess of Cups, that is the Page of Cups. That's about a new life. Maybe you created a new life for yourself by hard work. These people are upset about that. These people are very, this could be a couple. Okay, an interracial couple could be could be a hetero couple um, who don't really even love each other. Okay, they, they're just all about dark magic. Mm, that's why they keep losing. That's why they're losing everything abundance. And that's exactly the fucking reason why death is approaching their ass. And this could be a physical death, a spiritual death. This could just mean the ending of something. This could be the ending of this bullshit that they're doing. But with every death, become, you know, with every death is a new life. Some, every time something ends, something begins. And when one window closes, another window opens. Take the energy out of red nade, okay? Well, we're talking about seven people here that are doing sacrifices that want to keep up dark magic bullshit, okay? So let's see what we have here. We're going to use a different deck. All right. This card was turned over. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Wasteful, dissipation of ideas, unrealistic, blocked, inactive, distracted, irresponsible, and greedy. That's Those are these people. They can't manifest. They can't. And uh, they're being very wasteful with their energy. Anytime you don't, anytime you don't, anytime somebody wants to settle some bullshit, anytime somebody wants to debt it, and you go, I don't want to do that shit, well, you're a fucking scab, okay? You're a fucking scab. Because anybody in their right minds, anybody that's high vibing and understands what it, what it means to protect your energy, um, understands that you, you, you don't want to keep this going because it, it's a tug of war. It's a push and pull. And all that does is take away from you and what you got going on. So these people don't want to dead anything because really there's nothing they're even really dead except themselves maybe because they're the only people. I'm picking up the fact that these are people that have an issue with you because you are you. I know what that's like. You know what I'm saying? This is some bullshit. You got a bunch of people sitting around, seven people, picked to live in a house, the real world. <laughs> it would be funny to put all these motherfuckers in one house and see how they get along together, huh? That would be a, that would be, that's a unique idea for a show to put seven haters in a house, okay? And see how well they get along. See if they can learn to stop being hateful bitches or see who, who survives, who wins like survivor and shit, okay? Pick to live in a house. This is the real world, people, okay? That's what, that's what the most hype said. It's his world. The real world. I mean, you bitches living in fantasy land. Playing in Lucifer's playground and shit. I mean, you want to be bitching and moaning when shit don't work out for you. Well, you're putting your energy in the wrong motherfucking place, bitch. And I mean what I said, okay? That car wanted to come out. What is this? Yep. Grief, loss, self-pity, despair, disappointment. Now they all disappointed. In themselves, really. They could be disappointed in you. For you doing what you gotta do. Isn't that weird? What else you want us to know? About sacrifice. These people made a sacrifice. Tell, tell me tell me about the sacrifice. They're doing chaos magic. They are. They're doing chaos magic, whoever you are. They're doing things that uh, continue to keep you fighting all the time. They keep you in drama all the time. They are. Yep. All these numbers, the four, five, and one, all add up to ten. It's an ending. This shit is over with. Yeah, three and uh, three cups in the reverse. Overabundance, excessive pleasure, pleasure seekers, loss of prestige, disloyal, rejection, betrayal. These are people, cancer energy, that um that are just pleasure seekers. The pleasure seekers. They definitely are. Yeah, disloyal. They've been rejected by society at large. So they got to come up with these little covens to make themselves feel important. And they get with these dark covens like the Illuminati and promise to take out light beings so that they can be successful, so that they can be rich. They can continue to use drugs. 
But you know, all these different things that they do, this magic, this this manipulation, it's all coming to the forefront. It is. What else? Spirit says that's the truth. This is some this is some uh, clear and concise message for the collective this morning. What else you want us to know about the sword? What what else what other kind of truths are gonna be spoken or coming to light about these sacrifices people made? They make every sacrifice. They sacrifice their relationship with their children. They sacrifice their relationship with God. They sacrifice their relationship with themselves. Just to be evil. That's what I heard. Ace of Swords, please. Speak your mind to solve problems is what's at the bottom of that card. Yeah, listen, Ace of Swords. If you speak your mind to solve your problems, everything in fruition and wisdom from all stages of life, legacy, inheritance, roots, security, family, prosperity, pinnacle of success. Speak your truth. Speak your truth, collective. This will open up the door for your prosperity, your abundance. Just remain honest. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to tell a, a. You can't. You can't get long-term prosperity off of short-term lies. Yeah, see, they they got with the devil. We got the devil to the nine to the nine of swords in the reverse. They they were miserable, so they went to the devil, thinking that was gonna help. But no, they got the ten. The ten. Of this is what I said. Okay, and everything they sent to you was has been blocked. Okay, and what did I say? Short term lies. Short term lies do not get you abundance. That's the queen of swords to the ace of pentacles in the reverse. Lying, deception. Okay, bitter ass bitches, and you don't and they don't get that ace of pentacles like they thought, and that's justice. Okay, some type of, and then one of these people who's a business owner, animalistic, material, dull, corrupt, stubborn, miserly, authoritarian, controlling. Mm-hmm. You've been told to get the fuck on. Spirit says that's the truth. Okay, because you're protected from all this bullshit. There's gonna be no more fighting. And here they, here they all coming. He got the King of Wands. Here he go. So severity, intolerance, cruelty, a store, such stubborn, ruthless, and opinionated. This is a warlock energy. Okay, sweet big sweet dick Willie. Okay, he's about to suffer some type of let's see pride of riches, delay, fear, apprehension. He's failing, failing, failing. Yeah, okay, here they go. We got another one coming up. We got a Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. A manipulative, unreliable, fickle, moody, idle, sensual, untruthful individual. This is somebody who's younger, a male or female. It's an energy. This is somebody that comes along and offers you love. Two forty-four in the clock that offers you some phony ass love offer to finesse you. Okay, do some sex magic on your ass, really, but that's the that's the night of wands. But yeah, his ass been messages blocked too. Got to take their ass back, okay? And you're being freed from this, okay? You're being freed from whatever this high priestess was doing to ruin your foundation. What did I say? Okay, this dark ass high priestess, just you're being freed from this immediately, okay? They can't win. Not against your foundation. Your foundation was built with the most high, is what I heard. So let's 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 wrap this up here. Let's see. We got three, two, one in the clock. Yeah. Yep, yeah, you're not gonna be miserable anymore. That's the truth, Ruth. Alright, so what about this sacrifice? What about what people are gonna find out? Well, we already know these people aren't gonna win. What's the final word on this? Because what we're doing now is spiritual savagery. We're talking about spiritual warfare. When we speak it, it comes true. The more of us, the more of us accept this as truth, the more it's more powerful. The truth is more powerful. The truth is always going to be powerful. But the more, the more uh, we speak the truth together, okay, speak the truth together, it becomes a bigger truth for everybody to see and hear and feel and accept is what I heard. Final messages. There you go. Final message. Ace of this. Mm -hmm. prosperity by speaking the truth making the necessary sacrifice to cut these energies off or making the sacrifice to not engage with these bitches okay either way it goes it's it's a win-win it's a win for you and a win for the most high it's a loss for them and him downstairs move get down what i tell you get down trip come here
I said take the MG as it resonates, okay? But yeah, that's the final message. Yeah, let's see what about these burdens. Yeah, you're about to be freed from these burdens. The work they've been doing on you. You're about to be freed from that. Mm -hmm. They've been doing all this bad work, this this dark magic against you, working against you, causing you burdens. You're about to be freed from this fast. Okay, and here we go again. These cards, I just shuffled them. Return to sender in order. Yep. Quick, fast, in a hurry. It's coming to, it's, it's, it's hitting him fast. Could be some police in this energy too, okay? But you triumph. This is about triumph. You triumph with the truth. The truth shall set you free. Yeah. And then also too, um, there's a, there's a, you know, wherever you're moving on, wherever you're moving on, I start to say moving on, moving on from, because maybe you're moving on from this and you should. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm telling you, you probably should. You feel me? There are going to be people that are going to, um, you know, want to bring up things from your past. You know, um, people are going to want to try to embarrass you, try to uh, create scandals. People are going to want to do a lot of different things. OK, but I want you to keep this in mind. I have to keep this in mind as well. You know the work that you've done to heal from situations, people, places or things that uh, were holding you back. Don't you do it. Sorry about that. Cats. But no, you gotta... Come on. Get out of here. Move. Move. Show that's out of here. Move. Nothing's up there. Yeah. <sighs> he is, he's starting to get in my nerves, but... In any given event, what I'm getting at is that the fact that people will do whatever it takes to try to destroy you, to try to ruin your credibility, to try to tarnish your image, to try to make you seem like you're fake or phony. And that's why it's important to live to live in truth, to be honest about who you are with yourself and then with other people. Um, I, I, I'll put it to you like this, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, like I always say, I'm not, I'm not a proud of all the things that I've done in my life. Definitely not, but I'm not ashamed of them either. Um, that it was a growing process for me. It was a journey for me. I um, mean, anybody that wants to sit around and bring those things up from the past, that all that means is that these people sat around and plotted and planned for a day that they could because they knew that I was going to be destined for greatness or you were going to be destined for greatness or something great was coming towards you. And so they held on to this, these little nuggets, these little, uh, these little things of, of salacious details, these salacious gossip. These uh, hidden recordings, these secret tapes of, 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 of you when you weren't at your highest point. And that's fine. I mean, they, they, they're going to do it anyways. I'm not saying it's fine that they can do that. I'm saying, well, what can you do? We don't control people. We just control how we react to things and we control how we move forward from things. And anybody with a lick of sense in their head or anybody that understands what it is, um, that's not looking for views and likes and uh, to keep a negative conversation going will understand that these people are just doing this because they are unhealed, unsuccessful, unhappy people. There's no anxiety that needs to be created about it. If you did something, you did something. Own it. You feel me? And if you feel the need to explain it, then you explain it. But then again, too, maybe not. Because what has to be explained is, why were you holding on to this anyways? Why were you recording this person without their knowledge? Why are you just bringing this up now? Because they're going down, because they're in trouble, because they don't have anything going on in their life. They're still unhappy and unhealed. And they want the same for you. They want the same for me. Somebody's name is Jasmine. Somebody's last name is Boland. Sacrifice is made. I don't know what that means. Take the injury as it resonates. Your dreams need a practical plan. It came out in the reverse. These people did not have a practical plan for what they dreamed for you. The energy is gaining momentum. Actually, the energy is losing momentum. What else you want us to know? Thank you. Show the world the real you, like I just said. That came out in the upright. Show the 919 in the clock. Show the world the real you. That's Tennessee, isn't it? You could be in Tennessee. What else? Anything else? Don't let your past hold you back, okay? It came out in the reverse, so maybe you're letting your past hold you back, but it should be like this. Do not let your past hold you back is what I just said. You could be in your south node. You need to gravitate more towards your north node. Your north node is 
trying to wake you up to take you out of your past, you know, to, to help you ascend. That's your ascension point is your north node. Your south node is where you begin. We can't sit around where we began and try to move forward. It just doesn't happen. Whatever that looks like for people, you know. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Work through your fears. You may have a fear of what people are going to say about you. Don't. I'm trying to tell you, don't. Because all that does is that, that, gives, that gives a foundation for people to continue to attack you. Allow people to show who they really are by what they're trying to show about you. This is what I heard. Okay. Kind of like tattletale shit. You know what I'm saying? The tattletale, the one that always ran and told on everybody. And then what ends up happening? Yeah, at first they might gain a little bit of brownie points with the teacher, but then the teacher kind of gets in. And it's like, what the fuck is this? I don't like this little bastard. I don't like this little bitch. She's always telling on everybody. And then what ends up happening? By the end of the year, or the first semester, by winter break, the teacher don't fuck with the kid like that no more, and everybody in the class hates the kid. So continue to let people tattletale or continue to uh, keep spreading propaganda, smear campaigns, gossip, rumors, lies, or hell, they could even be telling the truth about some things that you have done. Continue to keep letting that person talk because while they're sitting around telling the truth about you, okay, all the lies that they've told are being uncovered and discovered. That's what I hear. Nothing is set in stone yet. This is come, this came out in reverse. So yes, I believe that. What is this? Nothing's been set in stone. I just got to pull because I'm curious. Because what's 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 set in stone? Something is set in stone. Okay. What is set in stone? What's set in stone? Yeah, their will of fortune. Oh shit! Look, listen. What they should expect. Okay. Energy is being taken back and given to and being taken to its rightful place. Because this is what they should expect. I'm just gonna do it like this. What's what's set in stone? This is what you should expect. Karmic or narmic out there doing magic and creating rumors and creating and digging up people's past. Why well, you should be taking care of your fucking kids or your house or your health or your even or even your own career or hell even your parents. But you need to be taking care of yourself, taking care of it, sweeping out your front porch before you come around trying to sweep on somebody else's. Your front porch your motherfucking dirty, bitch. You can't even do it with a fucking broom. Okay, you got to hire a whole team and a big ass dumpster to come and remove that bullshit off of your porch. Okay, but this is what you should expect, whoever you are in this negative low vibration that keeps coming against people like me in the collective. There's going to be a redistribution of wealth, I just heard. So everything that you've earned from creating all this uh, this strife, these untruces, this dark magic is going to be taken from you and given to who it belongs to or whoever has been um, um, hurt or damaged. There's whatever kind of damages. This is about damages. This is maybe some defamation shit. This could be punitive damages. This could be um, people giving you back what they've stolen because they've been weakened. They've lost all strength in this whole situation. And this is just the beginning beginning of what you may ask their will of fortune in the reverse the fated will of karma the fated will of karma has turned they're at the bottom of that shit this is faded all this was faded which is why i'm telling you well, let them do whatever they're going to do it's all been faded nothing is well, nothing was set in stone till they started fucking playing but it's all set in stone now do not let your past hold you back okay because these people are stuck in their past a bitch is still sitting around with a cassette tape or some shit you said in 1994 or a vhs tape of you possibly doing something salacious with somebody a whole camcorder a whole vhs tape they behold that's what because they're still stuck in 1994 and that's where they're going to be while you get to move forward you feel me but this is what has been set in stone it's all been set in stone because it was written and it's faded they lose you win if you want to look at it like that or just look at it like you get to move forward and they get to be held back until they right their wrongs until they clear out their karmic debt you feel me Take that energy out of retinate, nigga. <laughs> I mean what the fuck I said, too, shit. You don't have to like it, but it's true. It's the truth. I think that's it. 3,400 as I look down, so that means that's something. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna close it out. Let's look up 3,400 real quick. All right, angel number 30. Angel number 3,400. is a sign of encouragement that all your hard work and dedication will be fully rewarded and abundance of success and wealth is coming your way is what i said but i'm your uncle seven nine and spiritual savage grandmother fucking rising in a high ascension it's 9 14 a.m on january 11 2024 it's 24 degrees 27 degrees fahrenheit and light snow in minneapolis if anybody cares but be you because this is me like it or not all right remember you grow i grow i grow you grow we grow together it's always love and light around this bitch and as always i love you take it easy deuces savage